Hi and hello, welcome back. Jana here with a new process video for the Hip Kit Club. I am working with the um, August 2020 kits and today we are focusing on stitching and on layering and on the main kit. Yes, so as you can see, I did some pre-work because I'm um, fighting a cold over the last days and so I just uh, quickly went out of bed, made this page and sneaked right back. And so I am, um, yeah, I just did some pre-work and um, you can also see I sneaked in some black cardstock from my stash uh, just because I wanted to work with um, contrast colors. And so I thought I would go with um, black cardstock and um, yeah, I thought that would be um, okay. And um, you can totally do that um, with different colors, with dark blue or with without the black. But I wanted to have some black, and so I I just I just went with it, with it. I also did some cutting on the pretty papers from the kids, um, and just a single a simple star shape. And um, the word awesome was my inspiration for the colors. And so I just went with these colors. There are some blue, some um, green, yellow, orange, and also a touch of red. And I only used the red because of the color <coughs> um, red on this shirt from my son. And so I thought, okay, I give it a try. I'm not that red person, but I just uh, love how everything is looking together. So now I'm just working or playing with the um, exclusive die cuts and with the exclusive um, chipboard stickers. And uh, yeah, first um, I'm um, going with the layering. So I'm looking for more um, stickers to add and more pieces to add. And I just, I just played um, around. Then I will take a little break um, because I did the stitching on my black stars and I decided to go with white um, um, thread and a simple straight stitch. And now I'm bringing in some more layering pieces, some colored thread, and I'm going with the colors I have on my papers. Some dark blue, some light blue, some green, some yellow, some orange and kind of dark orange, red reddish tone. And I also distressed all of the edges from the stars to get some more dimension and um, just texture. And I love to do that with um, just distressing the papers. Um, I thought about adding some mixed media to my background, but I decided against it. I would just bring in some um, um, some splatters and I will use um, the simple watercolors or not the simple but the watercolor set we got I believe two years ago it's um, the tropicals from Primer Marketing and uh, yeah like I said before I'm fighting a cold I had a bad um, headache over the last days and so I just um, worked as simple as I could and um, but I really hope you are inspired to do um, or inspired by this layout and by the colors and by the awesome products from the kits. <clears throat> um, yeah, now, um, yeah, my, I don't know why, but my camera, camera did not uh, filmed, but I just added some splatters to my background paper in the colors I have on the stars. And so you did not miss the big deal here or big thing. It was just some simple um, watercolor splatters. Just helping it uh, a quick dry with my heat tool. And I believe I have also um, glued down all the um, stars, or maybe this one not, but all of the other stars are already glued down. And um, then I will work on my the rest from the embellishments. And I wanted to use that word awesome and I was not sure about the placement. So I will try on that. And I'm sorry about the light um, reflection on the um, sticker sheet. Uh, I hope it's not annoying you too much. And yeah, so I'm just um, cutting off the white border from this, uh, this gorgeous turquoise colored cap or head or you know and I will also do the same on the word style because I totally wanted to use that because um, 
yeah, it was totally matching my, my colors and the theme from the picture. I, uh, we needed to try a new camera setup for some proper pictures and he was my little um, model, you know, and so he was just posing and smiling and so I thought um, style would be perfect for that. <clears throat> um, yeah, and next to that, I am... Um, I don't know, maybe I'm still cutting off the white border. I'm sorry that I did not cut this out, um, but it was not a big deal. So so back to the word awesome. I was not sure about the placement, um, but I think I will glue it down on the right there where it is, but I will tilt it a bit and I will move it to the left side to underneath the happy and epic so I would just change it a bit so that the M, I believe the M will, will um, I am not, no, I'm not sure. So, <laughs> um, but next to that, I think I am nearly done. I will, um, I have just added a one more black star on the right side because there was an open spot and I will just, I, will, I believe I will cut off the excess in a second. Yeah, now I'm moving that word a bit so that the E will stick on the picture and the M on the green star. Yes, I believe that's the place. And I will finish this page. Um, I believe I will just add the date and um, Oh yeah, I will embellish, I will grab um, all the leftover enam enam enamel dots from the from lots of previous um, hip kits and then I would just place them um, color on color and here I'm just trying to find another sticker or something like that, but I will not use anything else. No, I will not. So I'm cutting off um, the excess from the stars and I thought I could uh, use the leftovers or the excess, but I will not. And um, yeah, I think I am, I am done. So you will, um, you will just get a close up in a second and some final pictures at the end. And um, yeah, I really hope you're inspired by this um, layout to use your leftovers from the kits, or maybe you are, you are already working with the new kits, with the September kits. I'm waiting on mine and I can't wait to start playing with them. So I hope they will arrive very soon. And um, yeah, next to that, I am heading back to the bed now and I really hope um, you will have a great day and um, a great rest from the week and weekend and you know, um, yeah, so that's from, from me for today and thank you so much for stopping by and I wish you all a great day. Bye.